Hey everyone, it's Emily of Welcome to Mama from Scratch. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some high-end Dollar Tree DIYs for West Elm. I like West Elm decor, but a lot of it is just really expensive, so I have a few things on hand that I could recreate some of their decor, and I hope that you guys will enjoy today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Have your bell notification on that you never miss a DIY or home decor related video here on my channel. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be using one of these squares off of this banner that I had from Dollar Tree. And of course you can go larger or smaller on this, but I am going to be using four wooden dowels you can also find at Dollar Tree. I didn't cut these down, this is the size that they come in. I think they're around 8 inches or so, so you can always use longer or shorter ones depending on what you want to do. Then I'm just hot gluing those down to each corner and you'll want to make sure that um, whatever size you do, your popsicle sticks will reach to the other side. So I'm just adding a little bit of hot glue to each po uh, wooden dowel and then um, pushing down my popsicle stick on there and you can do a couple at a time. And I decided to space mine out almost a popsicle length in between, but you can figure out the design that you want to do and you'll go all the way around working all four sides. So now that you've got it all completed, you can leave it just like this, but I wanted to close in the top just a bit. So I did one on one side and then added a one on the opposite side and then started layering the M on from there. So you can close this in however much you want to. You can do a normal lantern top to this if you wanted to. You could do a rope top. The West Elm one has like a rope on it, but I didn't like that. I like the sleek, more modern look. So even though I did try the triangle top, I didn't care for it in the end, so I ended up removing that. So just do whatever, you know, looks best for your decor. But this is the way it turned out after I spray painted it black, and I really, really like it. I actually would like to make it a little bit taller. There's a rounded, but I like the square, a little bit more modern for West Elm. So for this West Elm DIY, I'm using some black fabric. This was actually from Walmart probably two years ago, and you can see I have very limited amount of it. So I was really trying to make this little piece work to fit this pillow in, and it worked just fine. I was really happy with it. So you'll see that I'm just gonna cut off the edges, kind of squaring it all off and everything. And then once you have that, you'll notice that the top piece is a little bit longer. You want that because I'm not using a zipper for this project at all. Uh, we're going to do a, I think it's called a pocket pillow. I'm not sure exactly, but um, take your top piece once you cut it off and then cut that in half. So you have your base piece and you're going to take that and I'm using this yarn from Dollar Tree. They have so many different colors. I got this back, gosh, I felt like it was near Christmas time that I picked this up. But I started off using just a needle and poking that through and then doing the design that I wanted to and then pulling it through. This can work for you, but um, after trying it out this way, I would definitely recommend tying a knot on the back of it so that way it stops the pooling of the fabric in between the yarn pieces, if that makes sense. It is, it kind of gathers because you're pulling it. And so, I don't know. I This method's good, but I think the other one is better. <laughs> So I decided to get out some just some painters tape to hold down the fabric and also so that I could get straight lines because you can see that the ones I was using the needle for um, are a little bit well just not straight at all so I decided to use my fabric tack glue and just start adding the glue in the shape that I wanted the strands to be in and it had definitely more of an effect than what the one that West Elm carries so I would just press on the yarn and then cut it off and then repeat that going all the way down and this was way simpler and I didn't poke myself either. <laughs> So 
So you can see how much better the glued on yarn looks versus the one that I pulled through with the um, basically as thread. So I'm just going to cut off those pieces of yarn. That way I can still use them and then glue those down. I'm going to fix my first trial attempt at this and hopefully, you know, you guys can figure out what system works best for you. But So now that the top is all done, I'm going to take those two pieces of fabric and then I need to um, basically uh, sew the ends of them. You can just use the fabric tack glue if you don't have a sewing machine or you could just use a needle and thread and thread it yourself. But I'm basically just going over the front edge of those pieces that will be where we're opening up the pillow if that makes sense. So I like to fold it just so it doesn't fray as much as well. Now I'm going to take those two finished pieces and I'm going to place the pretty sides together and the ugly sides will be on the outside. Hopefully that makes sense. And then I'm going to sew all four sides together and I'm just going to double back a little bit on the areas where the um, overlapping is for the opening. And then when I get to the edge, I just go ahead and turn and then I keep sewing. You can use fuse tape, fabric glue for this. You could use hot glue if you want to. If you have a sewing machine, get that baby out and sew it all. Just use whatever you have on hand. Um, like I said, this is my scrap um, pieces of black fabric that I had and I'm really excited that I can make something really cute with this. So now that it's all sewed, you're going to turn it right side out and make sure you push all the little corners out because those tend to sometimes want to stay in there. Basically now you have a little envelope for your insert and this is the way it turned out. I really like it. This didn't cost me anything because I had everything on hand compared to theirs. I probably could have made the strings a little bit longer, but I like it. Here are the supplies you'll need for the next West Elm DIY. I'm going to be using this pot from Dollar Tree as well as more popsicle sticks. Now for these, you do not cut them in half. Cut one a little bit longer. So maybe more like two thirds or so. Um, and I'm just using my wire cutters to cut this. So you can use scissors or whatever you have on hand. And you're going to want to leave them rounded on the one side. And I'm just going to take some hot glue and I'm going to put a bead of that on and then I'm going to start layering the the popsicle sticks um, keeping every other one the same height so it will drop up and then down up and then down you kind of get the gift so you're just gonna want to do that all the way around the pot The one that West Elm had was actually white, so I was like, okay, my, I'm out of white spray paint, so I thought I'll get my Waverly chalk paint out and I'll just cover this, but you'll definitely want to spray this just because you get more of an even coat and it'll really fill into those cracks, or I suggest painting your pot white first and then painting the popsicle sticks and then gluing them on. Don't do it this way. If you're gonna do it this way, spray it. I went with black, like I said, that's all I had on hand. And I really like the way it turned out. I think it's a great dupe and this only cost me two bucks basically. I hope you all enjoyed how easy these Dollar Tree DIYs were for recreating these West Elm decor pieces. Let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments below, as well as any projects you might be working on currently. I love hearing from you all. If you happen to miss my last few videos, they'll be here on the screen as well as in the description box below for more inspiration for decorating your home on a budget. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here. Give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one.